What's up everybody, AJ here, and today we're going to be talking about the new champion, Talia, in Earth Mode. Now, I know a lot of you guys are very excited about this new particular champion being played in Earth Mode and seeing video clips of it. I haven't quite had a chance to actually play her in Earth Mode yet, but I am very excited to say that I think she might be... I'm just kidding, she's probably awful. I haven't played her yet. A lot of people that I know that have played her across all ELOs have said that she is just bad. She's not fun, but I can't really go off that yet because I haven't had the chance to actually play her for myself so i'll make that judgment this weekend i'll definitely probably hopefully put a video out about her this weekend in earth mode but until that happens i can't necessarily make a fair judgment about this particular champion in the game mode however i would still like to hear your opinion if you've played her yet in earth do you think she's overpowered do you think she's good do you think she's bad or is she just whatever just eh. Just, eh, just like other champions, but of course, I want to hear your opinion. So don't forget to leave a comment below, and I will be sure to check those comments as soon as possible and read over as many of them as I can. I want to hear y'all's opinion. I like hearing from you guys. It's always fun to read over the stuff that you guys send, so please don't be afraid to leave a comment. Even if you think that what you say, I may not see it, I definitely see it. Don't worry about that. I read over all of the comments I get, I promise you. Even the ones that may not show up because some things do go to the spam filter for some reason, I don't understand. It, but I definitely want to let you guys know that I am definitely checking and reading over those comments. Aside from that, I'm very excited for this new particular champion. I want to make her work in other game modes. I want to make her work in threes. I want to make her work in normal summoners rift and sometimes even ARAM if I get her. But the most that I can say about her thus far is that she is a very interesting, fun champion for me to play. I still play her a lot, I've been playing a lot of normal games with her and I've been losing a lot, but that's just because I feel like I don't know how to be effective with her late game. So far she's got a very finicky ultimate, um, she's got a very interesting mechanic with her E and dash champions which are very popular right now, but even some of the flash champions. And I say flash because LeBlanc has a dash, Shin has a dash, but champions like Ezreal or even Cassidy, those are more of a flash based champion. So. They completely go around her E. Even like Maokai can go around her E by using his W since he doesn't take damage in his W. So it makes it very difficult for me to make a clear judgment on when she'd be effective and when she wouldn't be effective. This is all just very difficult things for me to get a grasp of just yet because even some of those champions she can be decent against as far as she can kite. As long as she can kite them correctly. I've been having a very difficult time with Cassidy so far on this particular champion. And I I know there's definitely a lot more champions out there that are very hard to deal with so i'd actually also like to know what do you think would be the best matchups for talia of course there's already probably been a bunch of theory crafting and people that have set stone into what is the meta for this particular champion what's the meta build for this particular champion and what's going to make her incredibly good or incredibly useless but i want you guys to let me know what you personally think because again i love hearing your opinion and of course just leave all those comments below in the description like the video if you did let me know how i'm doing and of course i will see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is i decided to do all right peace late everybody